Hey guys, welcome to Jojo Coco Studio. Now today we're going to be looking at the Corsair CX650M 650 watt power supply. And don't forget, it's the 80 plus bronze edition as well. So let's unbox this guy and do a very quick installation onto my PC case. So let's just uh, take the plastic out. So as you probably know, this power supply is a semi-modular semi PSU. Uh, as you can see, we can, have, uh, we can plug in other cables, for example, the, the VGA cables and the SATA cables and all that. And it comes with the 24 power pin and the CPU cable as well. So we'll check out the real thing. But first, let's quickly look at the box. Um, not much going on here. It's just saying that it's uh, 80 plus bronze certified and um, it is a modular ATX power supply. It's actually a semi, so uh, yeah, that's that. At the top of the box, we can see that it shows what it comes inside the box. So obviously this is the 24 pin. This is the, this is the CPU. This is the PCE cable. So that's, that's for your graphics card. This is for the hard disks and also the SSD. That's the, uh, legacy uh, Molex and last but not least we got even older stuff so that's the floppy drive but I guess we won't be using that right on the side of the box it's just not much it's the same information to the front of the box and we got this really nice looking picture at the back of the box we can see that it explains the power efficiency so feel free to pause the video and you can read on further Lastly, uh, quite important stuff, but I guess this is like the standard size for most uh, ATX cases. We can see that the power supply has a dimension of 140 by 150, and the height of the power supply is 86 as well. And um, yeah, that's just a diagram at the back of the power supply. Now, let's unbox this guy and see what comes inside. Oh, and guys, I nearly forgot to mention that this power supply has a guarantee of five years. Good stuff. Now let's open this guy up. Okay, so we have we we have the um, warranty guide, the uh, Corsair important safety information. I guess this is a pretty good thing to read. And um, uh, okay, let's let's check out on the right hand stuff. Uh, we have some cable fasteners, and oh, awesome! It comes with the. Uh, few screws for us to mount it on the, the PC case. That's pretty good. And then what else do we have? We have a bunch of cables and uh, I'll, go, I'll definitely go through this in a bit. We have the standard um, power plug from the power supply to our outlet, the, the power. And let's see, okay. And we have the power supply itself. So let's start from right to the left. Our first two cables are for your hard disk and SSD. So notice that it is long and it has an angular, well, a right hand, a right 90 degree curve here. So this is definitely for your hard disk and SS or SSDs. You can see that one cable has many ends. So at the very end or in the middle of the of the cable, if I can show you, okay? And this is the connector to the power supply. So just plug this into the power supply. Same as this one. So I guess the big difference is, let's see the difference. I guess the big difference is that there's more connectors to the hard disk and SSDs. So you got one, you got two, you got three, you got four, but for this one, there's only two. Okay? Okay, that's good. So the next two one is for your graphics card. Now, this one is the usual pin, so we get a six plus two. So depending on your graphics card, your graphics card might need uh, a six or an eight. I guess like most GTX 1060 will need just a six. Or if you have a 1070 or 1080 or above, well, there's nothing more than 1080. 
1070 or 1080 you'll be using two of these or maybe if you have those one of those really super beefy graphics card you might need all of them depending on your on your graphics card so again it is it has it has a cable at the very end okay in the middle as well well actually no this is like another end as well okay and yeah, this, this connects to the power supply. So whenever you see that says type four, uh, there's, a, there's a number type four on the power supply. Okay, so I guess this is the, exactly the same. So uh, they might be assuming that you wanna do like a CrossFi or, or SLI configuration graphics card. So good to, have, good to have more than one. And the last but not least, we have the legacy Molex connector, okay? Some people may not be using this anymore. And lastly, we have the floppy, floppy disk, which I'm pretty definitely sure that no one is using this anymore. And yeah, this connects to the Type 4 plug. I'll, I'll definitely show you how, how all this connects to my PC, but let's go through all the parts. Now, let's check out the power supply. Okay, let me just take this out. So we got a very nice looking silica gel, so I guess when shipping it will not get humid or anything like that. That's pretty good. And we got two, two cables, two cables. One of them is the 24 power pin connector. So this connects to the, the main motherboard power. You'll, you'll definitely see this on your motherboard, okay? And we have the CPU connector as well. Okay, so that's an eight pin CPU connector. All right, so that's that. Okay. Nice, nicely, neatly wrapped in a bubble, bubble wrapping, bubble wrapping thing. Wow, this looks really nice. Well, okay. So at the front over here, it, it is a 120 millimeter fan, okay? And let's check out on the side. Okay, so we got a nice looking label on the side, Corsair CX650M. We got the usual standard on off switch, and this is for the, the outlet, okay? And on the, other, on the flip side, we have, yeah, a nice looking label as well, just to show off whatever you have. And on top over here, we have the specifications. And uh, what AC input, DC output, feel free to pause anytime you want. Okay? High pot okay, what does that mean? Let's look at the fan again itself. So, so according to Corsair, this particular fan is a zero RPM fan. Uh, when it reaches to a certain temperature, it will start spinning. But if it goes under a certain temperature, it will stop spinning. So it's really nice and quiet. Okay, it's very nice. And last but not least, we have the port connectors. So these are all the peripherals and SATA cables and also the graphics card. So yeah, as you can see here is a 6 plus 2 PCIe. So yep, that's that. You have two of them. And yeah, these are for your hard disks and the SATA cable and all that. Okay, so let's install this onto my PC and um, hopefully it works. Oh, look at this. I'm going to be replacing this mess. So, a bunch of cables. This power supply is not is not semi-modular or modular at all. So, hopefully it's going to be nice and clean with this guy right here. Whew, guys, look at it. Huge difference. Uh, I think it's really worth investing in either semi or fully modular supply. Look how simple that is compared to this this bunch of wires. All right, that might not be a very fair comparison, but this is a little bit fairer. So, I need to use hard disk slash SSD and a video card, CPU connector and 24 power pin connector. 
which looks much less compared to this right here. This has everything, everything you need, but a little bit too much. Okay, let's start the build process. So I'm gonna be using the uh, SSD slash hard disk uh, cable, which um, I'm gonna be using the longer version because my hard disk and my SSD is pretty far apart, so hmm, that's the only option I have. So at the very end of the, the cable, we just simply plug this into here, okay? Very simple. Next is our graphics card cables, so a 6 plus 2. And at the end of the very cable, we use this one. So notice that it has uh, an 8 pin, so it must be underneath right here. So I just simply put it in. That was it, installing the CX650M Corsair. So yeah, it just looks like the normal standard PSU with a nice black black wires around it, which is excellent. And um, yeah, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe to my videos and check out some uh, other cool stuff, the PC stuff. So uh, see you later, guys. Bye.